Today in this video, we will see how to draw a cycloid for a given circle. These are the instructions. Draw a cycloid for a circle of diameter 50 mm for one revolution. Also, draw a tangent and a normal to the curve at a point 35 mm above the baseline. First, we will draw the cycloid, then we will draw the tangent and a normal to the curve at a point 35 mm above the baseline. Let's first understand what the cycloid of a circle means. A cycloid is a curve traced by a point on a circle being rolled along a straight line. In this video, our goal is to understand how to draw this curve. It is said that the circle makes one complete revolution. Consider this circle having a diameter of 50 mm or 5 cm. The path traveled by the circle will be equal to its circumference. Circumference of the circle is given by the diameter times pi, which equals 157 mm, or you can say 15.7 cm. Therefore, this distance is 15.7 cm. Before moving on, if you are new to my channel ADTW Learn, Click on the subscribe button and turn on all notifications so that you get all my latest videos. First, we draw a circle of 5 cm in diameter. After this, we draw horizontal and vertical diameters on the circle. To draw a cycloid, we will divide the circle into 12 parts. The more parts we draw, the smoother will be the curve, but the time for drawing it will increase. Therefore, we divide it into only 12 parts. To get 12 equal parts, we know that the full circle has 360 degrees, therefore, we do 360 divided by 12, which gives 30 degrees. There will be 12 sectors of 30 degrees each. By using the protector, divide this circle into 12 parts. So, mark 30 degrees here, next 60 degrees, 90 degrees, like this go on increasing, by 30 degrees. Next, 120 degrees, 150 degrees, and 180 degrees. Next, using scale and taking this point as the reference, draw the line from the circumference of the circle to the center, and extend it to the other side of the circumference of the circle. Similarly, do for all the points. Since we divided the circle into 12 parts, next, we will mark the points on the circumference of the circle. First point, second point, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, and twelfth point. Mark one initial point, which will be this point P. Now extend the align horizontally from this P point, using a roller scale. This line will be our baseline, whose length will be equal to the circumference of the circle, which will be pi times d length. As the circle rolls over this baseline, all the points will come on this baseline at equal distance. Therefore we need to mark all these points on this line. To do so, we need to divide this baseline into 12 equal parts. For doing this we can either divide this 15.7 cm into 12 parts, and whatever value you get, mark the points that much distance apart on this line. Or you can make use of this method, which is commonly used in engineering drawing, to divide the line into equal parts. In this method we draw a line at an angle like this, then we take any distance, and cut this line into 12 parts. After this, we join this last point with this last point on the baseline. Using the roller scale, or drafter, we draw parallel lines, move the roller scale parallel, and draw a line. Similarly, draw a parallel line for all the points. After this, mark these points, do the naming for these points, here, it will be 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, and so on till 12 dash. So, this is the method of dividing any line into an equal number of parts. After getting all the points on the baseline, when the circle is rolling over this line, the position of this circle's center also will changes. Therefore, we will draw a line horizontal from this center, and we will mark the centers which will come on this line, such as C1, C2, C3, and so on, till C12. To draw this line, take a roller scale, 
Take this baseline as a reference, move the roller scale up to the center, and now draw a line. The length of this line will be equal to the baseline, and draw a vertical end line here. Now, as the circle rolls over the baseline, new centers will come on this line. To do that, take the roller scale, take this vertical line as a reference, and at one dash mark the center, and join it with a vertical line. Next at two dash, similarly mark the center points till twelve dash. Now mark the centers, C1, C2, C3, until, C12. After this, draw the horizontal line at point 6. Next at point 7, 5. Next at points 8, 4. Next at 10, 2. And at 11, 1. Our main aim here is to mark the path traced by this point when the circle is rolling. Therefore, we need to mark the p-point. As the circle rolls, this p-point comes here, mark this point. We can see that the distance between the center of the circle and point p is constant, that is, the radius of the circle. To mark this p-point, take the radius of the circle, keep the compass on c1 and cut the arc on line 11-1. Now as the circle rolls to C2, the point P is here, cut the arc using a compass on line 2, as the circle rolls to C3, the point P is here, cut the arc on line 3. Similarly, when the circle is at C4, cut the arc on line 4, when the circle is at C5, cut the arc on line 5, when the circle is at C6, cut the arc on line 6, and when the circle is at C7, cut the arc on line 7, when the circle is at C8, cut the arc on line 8. When the circle is at C9, cut the arc on line 9. When the circle is at C11, cut the arc on line 11. At last when the circle is at C12, cut the arc on line 12. We can see the point P is coming back on this line. Mark these points. This point will be P1. This will be P2. Similarly, P3, P4, P5, P6, P7. P8, P9, P10, P11, and P12. Join all these points, P1, P2, until, P12, to get the cycloid. This is our cycloid, this is how we draw a cycloid of a circle. The next part is to draw a tangent and a normal to the cycloid, at 35 mm above the baseline. So, to draw a tangent we need to mark a point 35 mm above the baseline. Take a roller scale, this is the 35 mm length, now move the scale. So it is touching at this point. Mark this point as the endpoint. Next, take the radius of the circle. Keep the compass on the endpoint, and mark the arc on the centerline. Mark this point as x. Next draw a vertical line from this point x, to the baseline. Mark this intersection point as n and draw the line passing through this point, N and M. This line will be normal to the curve. Now, draw one line perpendicular to this normal line, this will be the tangent to the cycloid curve. Remember, the angle between the normal and the tangent line should be 90 degrees. To do so, take a protector keep it like this aligned, mark the point. Now draw a line passing through these two points. This is the tangent to the curve. I hope you have understood how to draw a cycloid of a circle. If you are new to my channel ADTW Learn, click on the subscribe button, and turn on all notifications so that you get all my latest videos uploaded.